Hi, I'm Mike Haddock, and today I'm going to do a review on a facet repair mortar. Uh, it's made by Quickcrete, and I've been using it for about five years. Fast setting cements haven't uh, been around that long. In the last 10 years, they really started coming around. I'm going to do a review on it. I'm going to take you to a chimney repair, some glass blocks, and brick steps, some foundation repair, and brick pointing, and show you how I used it. But first we're going to take a look at the bag. Well, let's look at the bag. It's a high performance cement made by Quickrete and it's a fast set repair mortar and you can use it vertical or overhead for structural repair or full depth repair. Now it says down here that it's a 20 to 40 minute set time. Now in the summertime it'll go faster but if you're doing a block job or something where you're only doing a small repair, that's where I use it. Now it says it exceeds the requirements of ASTM, American Standard of Testing Materials for very rapidly hardening materials for concrete repairs. I don't use it much for concrete repairs, but this is the big deal. It says 2000 PSI after three hours. Now when I pour concrete patio or I pour concrete driveway or sidewalk I always order a 4,000 pound PSI that's very strong this will go up to 6,000 pounds in 28 days so that's really strong that's why you'll see me add some sand to it all right uh, it's reduced shrinkage in other words you're not going to get the cracks they are something else now let's look at the 55 pounds let's look at the back of the bag so all this surface preparation is common sense. Uh, I only mix what I need and I, what I'm going to use in 10 minutes. That's the only time I do it. Uh, it says down here that uh, Portland cement, so we know it has Portland cement, but it doesn't tell you anything what's in it. you got to kind of guess. So let me show you the jobs that I work on and we'll go from there. Now here's a job I did where I only had to lay three blocks and a cap. And it was high up and it was going to get cold at night and I wanted to finish the job. So I always mix it in just a little small tub because I'm only going to use what I need quickly. I just add water, I mix it up. Sometimes I will add sand but not in this case. Then I get up on the chimney because it's going to get cold and freeze at night. And this uh, stuff will be set in a couple hours. I don't have to worry about it. The next one, a glass block job. Uh, when I'm using glass blocks, if you use traditional cement, they're moving all over. You put this stuff down and it sets really quickly. So if, if you're really good at laying block or glass blocks, uh, you get everything ready. That's the biggest thing when you use this stuff. Get everything ready and ready to go. And that's at the end. This was for a plumber I was doing it. And then I just plaster it up. I could use it for a plaster too. Now here's a job where I just fixed some brick steps. There was just a little section taken out and people were tripping over it. So I actually added sand and cement to it to slow it down so I had a little more time to work it. A bigger patch, I might do that sometimes. And then I just put it in like a big piece, just like that. And then I put the regular bricks around it. And because it was an old brick job, I didn't want it to look blinky or anything. So after I was all done with it, I just got regular garden mud and then you paint it with mud and that'll stain it enough to make it look like it's old work. So if they ever had to do those steps then they will have to do them someday over again, but it was a fast fix. Now here I did a foundation and it's good for that because it dries fast. When you dig the parts of the foundation out and you got to put some brick in there to hold it back in there, you just put it in. And you know, you got 20 minutes, it'll start to set up and the brick won't move anymore. And that makes the job a lot easier. In the old days, you could only go so far and then you'd have to come back and fix it. Now here I am 15, 20 minutes later, I'm plastering it. And then I'm sponging it. And I, of course, with this stuff, it's best to wait 30 days and you could paint it. Now when I'm repointing brick, I use it also. Uh, I weaken it up, I put a little sand on it. Don't forget, I only use this product for small jobs and small jobs only, no big jobs. But it's nice when you do want to repoint something and it's going to be cold that night or 
the weather is going to get bad or it's going to rain because you want it to dry quickly and you don't want to have to be coming back. So I'm very happy with the product for little small jobs, especially like something like this. So that's basically the review on it. Back in the 60s and the 70s and 80s up into the 90s, nobody had a chance to use this kind of fast drying cement. You'd have to go back to the job two or three times and fix shrink cracks. But this is like the new miracle stuff. I also did a video on cement doll rapid set mortar mix and I use that a lot. That's another good fast one. This one is a little bit mortar like though. Uh, I like using it. I had no problems with it. I've been doing it over five years now and our weather is atrocious for any kind of cement products. So nobody sponsor me. I'm just telling you like it is. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock and I'll see you next video.